Hello everyone and welcome back to Scorpio Tech. In this video I'm going to be giving you my first impressions of the Yamaha True X Dolby Atmos surround sound system. The entire True X package consists of the SRX50A soundbar with subwoofer as well as two WS-X1A portable wireless speakers for your rear sound. This entire package will set you back just over £1000 so let's dive into the features and find out if this is the surround system for you. Available in black, light grey and carbon grey as you'll see in this video, this True X system offers many excellent features such as Dolby Atmos, built-in Alexa, clear voice and bass extension options, as well as Spotify Connect, AirPlay 2 and a dedicated app to control all of it. I'm also no audiophile so this is very much going to be from an average consumer's perspective but I'll do my best to explain the ins and outs of this system. Before we get into the details, the products were all packaged very securely and the unboxing process was very straightforward. The first thing I noticed about the system was the great build quality and the beautiful aesthetic of each product. They all have this really nice fabric coating which has been excellently finished against the frame and considering the limitations of making a long bar and a big box look nice I think they nailed it with this design. Starting off with the sound bar this is a 180 watt 2.0.2 channel wall mountable bar that has a total of 630 watt woofers. In terms of the internal orientation of this the left and right channel woofers are front facing and tucked against each side of the bar with the high woofers slightly inwards of that position and angled upwards. There are also two included subwoofers which are closer to the center of the bar facing directly up. Upwards. As for ports, you've got this angled section which includes a HDMI in, HDMI out with eARC allowing you to control this bar with your standard TV remote, as well as an Ethernet port, optical port and a USB port for updating the firmware, which can also be done through the dedicated app that I'll show you later on. So yeah, first impressions of this bar look and feel great, but once I've got everything set up, I'll discuss the sound which is of course the defining factor. Moving on to the SWX100A wireless subwoofer, this also follows the same theme with the design which I have to say looks fantastic. It's got a reasonably sized 16 cm driver powered by a 100 watt amplifier behind a ported enclosure. Running between a range of 35 and 100 Hz and weighing about 9.5 kg, this is a very solid subwoofer that can also be controlled via the included remote or the app. And last but definitely not least are these little guys. These are the True X1A portable wireless speakers which not only act as our rear right and left speakers in the surround system but can also be used independently as Bluetooth speakers which I think is fantastic. Inside the nicely packaged box you get your typical paperwork with a handy QR pointing you towards the setup guide as well as a standard USB type A to USB type C charging cable for the device. And nothing, and I mean nothing, could have prepared me for just how small and cute these devices were going to be. Once again though, and I rate the consistency, these devices have an excellent build quality and design with a fabric rim, rubberized base and these sort of brass accents which just look and feel so so classy. And of course with their small stature there are going to be output limitations but honestly I was really impressed with their sound output but I will come back to that a little bit later. In addition to being wall mountable they feature a clear voice mode as well as Bluetooth, True X wireless surround and a reasonably impressive 12 hour battery life with a 3 hour full charge time. Also worth noting is that these are IP67 rated for dust and waterproofing as well as being compatible with the CCT1A charging cradle. After turning on the speakers to a lovely jingle, we can now get started connecting all of the devices. Step 1 was to plug in the included power cables for both the soundbar and subwoofer. And after checking the handy guide, I plugged in a HDMI cable from the eARC HDMI out on the subwoofer to the eARC port on my TV. And as the instructions state, once you've done this, the subwoofer should automatically connect to the soundbar, which worked perfectly for me. This is indicated by a white light on the back of the sub. With that out of the way, you'll see an array of lights on the front of the soundbar, which are effectively effectively showing you the currently in use inputs and effects. The soundbar does have physical buttons for power, input, Alexa, mute and volume but all of this can also be controlled directly from the included remote. Unlike the rest of the products the remote feels incredibly cheap which is a shame but as long as it's functional I can't have too many complaints. This process was thankfully very easy. Simply follow the on screen instructions and you'll be good to go in about 2 or 3 minutes. At this point I was prompted to update the soundbar's firmware which did take an additional 2 minutes. 
headphones. With all of that connected and ready to go, let's add the portable wireless speakers into the mix. You can scan the QR code to take you directly to a simple guide, but the process is also very straightforward. To start off, turn both of the speakers on with the power button, then hold the circle or mode button down for 3 seconds. This will allow you to choose either left or right, which is indicated by a light on the back of the speaker. And then you can swap between left and right by single pressing the mode button. Once you've got the speaker in your desired setting, hold down the mode button again for 3 seconds to activate the pairing mode. Once done, press and hold the setup button on the remote for 3 seconds and you should be good to go. Repeat this step for the second speaker and you'll be ready to enjoy some incredible sound. Just before we get into that though, they can also be used as great little Bluetooth speakers and to change between surround and Bluetooth, simply press the mode button once. Yep, that's it. And the other buttons here are for clear voice, play and pause and of course your volume options as well. But let's get back over to that surround setting and test the Yamaha True X surround system out. And I know I cannot possibly showcase this sound properly over YouTube, but I still think you can hear the incredibly wide sound field and room shaking bass. I'm going to play a short clip from this excellent Overwatch cinematic film to give you a little bit of an insight to how this system sounds. Enjoy. Don't worry. I'll be right behind you. You better be. Sat there in the middle of the room, I was completely in awe of what I was hearing. 100% immersed, bullets flying past my head, explosions above, behind and to the sides, it was simply fantastic. Not only that, but you have a great amount of control over the audio with the preset EQs for movies and games, as well as the ability to initiate clear voice and bass extension on the fly is such a great feature. I was honestly really impressed with how much the small rear speakers packed a punch. They added so much to the whole experience and output an incredibly crisp and rich sound. I mean, just take a listen to this. Honestly, I can't really come up with the words to describe how it feels. Nothing beats the cinema, and I know there is really expensive audio equipment out there that gets you close, but at the £1,000 mark, this massively elevates your in-home entertainment experience. The audio fills the room, and you can easily pinpoint directions of what's happening on the screen, and it feels incredibly immersive. Overall, the sound quality is very impressive. No matter how loud you go, you don't lose that clarity and warmth that it offers. In both movies and games, you can pick up on each individual sound that you would definitely struggle to pick up on if you're using a basic TV audio system. I think Yamaha have nailed this. I've never had the experience at home of having goosebump and hair raising moments, things feeling way more emotional, and I became completely enveloped in an immersive bubble. I am seriously impressed. This is not just for movies though, everything was elevated. Voices were crystal clear, the bass is thunderous but not over the top, and things that were mundane to watch before became thrilling. It's one hell of an experience. Although with any soundbar of this size, it's going to work much better in smaller and medium sized rooms to really allow the sound to bounce around and work as intended. From the excellent build quality and design to the massive features and immersive sound, I can definitely recommend the Yamaha True X surround sound system. Thank you all so much for watching this video, if you want to find out more about the products I've showed today then I've linked everything down below. Thanks again and I hope to see you all in the next video.